Hello everyone, my name is Ashiki. At first I would like to say that please can you subscribe my channel. So today I am going to read Mahabharat part 11. And yes, I would also like to inform that the ones who want to watch Mahabharat part 10. They can get the video link from the description box. Okay, so now let's begin with our story. The Riyodhana's Foley The Riyodhana stayed with his uncle Shakuni after the ceremony was over. He went all over the palace and was admiring all its features and envying the prosperity of the Pandavas. One day, walking through the assembly hall built by Maya Sura, he knocked into a wall thinking it was a door. Seeing him, Draupadi burst out laughing, calling him the blind son of a blind father, infuriating Duryodhan. The hall was full of illusion. On one occasion, he mistook a hard floor for a pool of water, and he fell into the pool of water, thinking it was a polished floor. Bhima had a good laugh, much to Duryodhana's anger and envy grew, getting more and more out of control. Encouraged by his uncle Shakuni, his father Dhritarashtra was so fond of his son that he failed to check all his wrong actions. Shakuni's plan. When the ceremony was over, Visaya came to bid Yudhishthira goodbye and to bless him for the future. He told Yudhishthira that he should be profit for trouble in the future. Yudhishthira decided that he would always be polite with all his relatives and not give them any cause to become his enemies. This decision later caused him and his family great sorrow. The mother of the Kauravas was Gandhari, who had tied a scarf on her eyes to be her blind husband's equal. Her brother Shakuni came from Gandhara. He was a very evil man. He petted and pampered Duryodhana and knew that Duryodhana hated and invited the Pandavas. Duryodhana wished to drive the Pandavas out of Indraprastha. So he advised them to invite Yudhishthira to a game of dice. Shakuni, using his own dice and playing on behalf of Duryodhana, would easily defeat the unskilled Yudhishthira. Thus, they could win his kingdom. Okay, so story ends here. In my next video, I am going to read part 12 of Mahabharat. If you liked my today's video, then please like and comment my video. And also subscribe my channel to listen to more such stories. And also to follow all my videos regularly. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.